Hi guys, I got this product from Banggood. So today in this video, I'm going to review this power inverter. So guys, let's open it up. Nice. The packing looks nice. So these are the cables. You can see the good quality copper clips. Yeah, it's shiny good quality copper nice this is the back connection part this is for connecting it to the car socket for powering this inverter with the car battery let's keep the cables apart now comes the main inverter so guys for operating it you get a manual it's in english and it tells about the appliances that can be operated with this power inverter and the procedure installation and operation yeah and here are the specifications output voltage and the uh, yeah, output frequency 50 60 hertz and the rated power 80 watts 150 and up to 5000 watts okay let's remove this now finally we are left with the main let's remove this yeah proper cushioning has been provided for uh, the main terminals red one being positive and black one being negative here you can see it is showing dc 12 volts plus minus and here is the cooling fan let's remove the cover and here it is our inverter power inverter dc 12 volts output 220 to 40 50 hertz four usb ports we are getting here output dc 5 volts and 4.8 amperes rated so uh, the different charger ports have different power ratings so guys you can see that the design is so cool and uh, these groves are provided for proper heat sink and there are four usb ports being provided here two of them are uh, high speed charging 2.1 amps and 2.4 amps and the remaining two are simple mobile phone charging also there are two displays one for uh, the battery input voltage that is somewhere around like 11 to 13 volts dc and ac out is uh, around 220 to 240 volts ac so this is the main switch on off okay so after connecting the terminals and uh, powering it up then we will have to connect an appliance on this three pin socket turn it on and then it will start working and uh, lastly you can see these two and these two uh, gas for fixing it on uh, on a place on a, on a wooden platform pretty good and uh, the best thing is the color that I like uh, the black and red and gives a, a really good look so guys let's turn it on do the connections and see what happens and after that let's measure how much power it can actually handle so guys it is really simple to connect the wires all you have to do is first take the black wire Connect it, yeah, although first one of the washer will be taken and connect it like this, then uh, the black terminal, then the other washer and then the black bolt. Now comes the other terminal, one washer has already been placed, placing the terminal like this, then the second washer and the red bolt. So guys both the terminals have been connected and it's time to connect a 12 volts battery and test it so guys uh starting with the 12 volts battery i'm going to start with uh the simple 12 volts ups battery it's actually an 84 watts 12 7 84 7 ampere hour so guys uh, the polarity is very important here you see uh this one is a little red and this one is jet black red being positive this red will be connected to this red being positive and the other one to the left out terminal okay this battery i haven't charged it and i used it in the welding machine but this inverter is so efficient that it is still going to power up positive has been connected comes the negative now that was the spark all i have to do is turn on this switch okay so let's do that you can see the voltage slowly increasing and stabilizing finally at 226 or 227 volts and the battery voltage as indicated here is 12.7 volts dc that battery voltage is of this battery so the display is working quite well right now 
the point is to measure uh, the efficiency of this in Vodo on every step. So first I'm going to check its efficiency uh, for how much amperes it is drawing for starting at no load. Okay, so let's connect a multimeter in series with this battery and this inverter to check out the losses. Let's remove this, turn this off. Same multimeter as before, pointing it towards 10 amperes. 10 amps, okay, and now the wire changing. Multimeter is ready for ampere measurement, okay. Keeping it like this, and then negative terminal will be connected to the negative with this clip okay and finally this terminal will be connected to this one so guys for better visibility i placed the multimeter over here let's take this terminal and see the amps first you will see the peak amp because it is going to turn off yeah it took 0.18 that is for the capacitor charging now let's turn it on and see the right amps so guys here we have got the no load amperes 0.32 at the voltage is already being displayed here 12.3 volts 0.3 and 12.3 okay turning it off so guys uh, the no load loss was very less uh, it took a current of around 0.32 amps and a voltage of 12.4 making it around 4 watts of loss at no load which was very less for a power inverter large enough they are saying it at 3000 watts inverter so if we compare to the power rating which is 3000 watts for this inverter then uh, this loss is just negligible okay so guys now i'm going to start testing this uh, so first i'm going to charge in this phone with uh, this inverter and also at first i'm also going to measure the current that uh, this uh, inverter is going to draw from this battery and will be displayed on the display screen of the multimeter so uh, i'm going to place uh, this cable on the power uh, usb port 2.4 which is the fastest 2.4 is the maximum and one amp is the minimum okay so let's turn it on first okay so it has turned on current is being displayed which is the no load current so uh, yeah it has started charging show you you can see 67 percent so uh, and it is taking current of somewhere around 1.1 amps at 11.5 volts dc input making it somewhere around 12 watts that this inverter is drawing from this battery so let's turn this off now yeah disconnected now guys i'm going to do uh, the real power and efficiency check i'm going to use this here as you can see uh, uh yeah photon plus nine watts led and i will connect it to the socket so we already know the power rating over here and uh, we will have to measure the power that this inverter is consuming from this battery with the help of the current being displayed over here and the voltage being displayed over here and with that we can uh, measure the power that this bulb is uh, consuming so let's turn it on okay first terminal has been connected so yeah it is taking somewhere around 1 amperes and 11.8 or 11.7 volts let's turn it off 1 and 11.7 uh, yeah so guys the efficiency is good enough uh, this bulb is supposed to draw 9 watts but it is drawing around 11.7 watts so it is drawing somewhere around 2.7 watts extra than a uh, usual which is uh, the conversion loss and when we are going to increase the load then the conversion loss will remain the same and then the efficiency will go even higher okay so guys now i'm going to measure the efficiency with this 100 watts bulb let's turn it on so yeah the current is yeah the battery is low it is not able to turn it on but as I saw the current drawn was somewhere around 4 amperes and the voltage was around uh, like 10 volts so this bulb was glowing at just 40 watts because this battery was not able to provide enough current and voltage to this inverter so let's use a bigger and better battery and then test it 
and guys for measuring the true efficiency of this inverter i will also have to uh, remove the losses from the multimeter because the wires are very thin i don't think they can carry five or six amperes and this bulb is going to draw uh, somewhere around seven or eight amps uh, or could be higher so let's remove them okay so guys here as you can see i have removed uh, the wires and in place of that uh, i have placed these two screws for a uh, better current and a uh, lesser losses Okay, so guys, now I'm going to turn on this inverter with the help of this 35H car battery. So, uh, yeah, let's connect its terminals and see uh, the voltage displayed, DC input, to check if it is charged or not. And after that, I will connect this multimeter to measure the efficiency of this inverter. So, yeah, it is 12.4 volts. I think the wire is a little, yeah, now it is connected. 11.7 volts now let's connect this multimeter to measure the overall efficiency of this inverter so guys for connecting this multimeter i'm going to use this jumper cable okay so connecting one terminal over here the other terminal on one terminal of the multimeter yeah this one we connected now comes the other one Yeah, so the uh, wiring is complete now. Move it a little backwards and turn on the meter. So at present the current is zero. Let's turn it on and see how much current it is actually drawing. Okay, go. Cool. So guys, as you can see that it is drawing somewhere around eight amperes at 11 volts. 8 amperes at 11 volts meaning it is drawing somewhere around 88 watts so guys 8 amperes is being drawn over here the bulb is glowing very bright and the voltage AC voltage is maintained at 212 volts and 10.9 volts and reducing so let's turn it off the output voltage is not reducing it is maintaining the power very nice so guys as we can conclude from this now that the efficiency is somewhere around 95 percent with a 100 uh, watts bulb connected to it uh, because it was running at just uh 88 taking it as 90 watts and uh, the voltage was 212 although it should be around 220 volts so a little 8 volts less that was just a minor drop because the battery wasn't charged it was showing over here 10.9 volts and it should be actually uh, like 12 volts or even higher 12 to 14 volts for perfect output from the ac outlet yeah so guys here as you can see this is a 200 watts led ceiling light and this is another both of them are connected in parallel to each other making it a total of 400 watts and guys the final output wire is coming out from here so yeah now i'm going to test these lights with the power inverter okay so these are the two final wires for the 400 watts light led light one is connected the one is also connected now let's turn the power on so yeah the negative terminal has been connected all i have to do is turn on the switch okay so the first phase i'm showing going to show you you will see uh, the light turning on slowly and uh, then attaining full illuminance that is a very cool feature okay let's turn it on you see it is brightening up slowly and slowly as the voltage is increasing on the screen turning it off now guys i'm going to do some real power tool testing with this inverter so let's connect a 350 watts drill machine first. So guys as you can see that uh, the drill machine has been connected now uh, the thing with the inverters is that the inverters usually cannot run power tools like drill machines, angle grinders. So this is a little special type of inverter uh, as they have said so I am at least going to try if this inverter can run a drill machine 350 watts. So let's connect it to the battery. Terminals have been connected. Let's switch it on. The inverter has turned on, although display is not much visible because of too much lightning outside. So let's give it a go. Okay. You can see that it is working, and this inverter is so efficient and powerful that it is actually handling the load of this drill machine. 
running at full potential here full potential very nice now let's save the battery obviously it is it must be draining too much the battery now let's actually put it to some load so guys now i'm going to drill a hole through this thick wood using this drill machine powered by the inverter so let's turn the inverter on back again it's on let's try it okay let's go cool right yeah it's working close of you nice turn it off okay so let's check if it can power up uh, some more heavier load so let's disconnect it and replace it with some other power tool a little bigger one so guys now it's time to check if this inverter can run this angle grinder now it takes in somewhere around yeah i will check it once again 850 watts and the maximum rpm is around 41000 rotations per minute 220 volts 50 hertz now it is going to be pretty insane if this power inverter is actually going to power up this angle grinder seriously guys i have never seen an inverter do that so guys let's try that okay so first checking if it is on or not so at present it is turned off this is on this is off so first i will have to switch it on now that is on although this inverter is not able to run it it is not going to be a big deal because it takes huge current at the start and uh, the battery voltage is going to drop a lot low okay so let's turn it on okay <laughs> whoa now that is amazing the inverter is actually running 850 watts angle grinder never seen this thing before ever in my life seriously guys i've never seen an inverter run an angle grinder once again Oh, that is, that is really cool guys, that is an excellent inverter, so lightweight and it is equivalent to the home inverter. Now guys, I am going to disconnect the angle grinder and uh, test this jigsaw with this inverter. Okay. So yeah, the terminal have been connected, terminals, okay, let's turn it on. So the inverter has been turned on, let's check this jigsaw although its power rating is a little less than angle grinder it is around 610 watt rated power input okay 3000 rpm okay so let's start it yeah actually the speed is not set at full five six yeah now it is full yeah it is running pretty good guys this inverter is just the thing i needed so guys the thing is that there are little power outages in our country india so uh, it was really necessary to have uh, an inverter that could power up the power tools and uh, being so efficient i can use it for as long as i can okay so guys uh, the link to buy this product will be provided in the description with the discount coupons so don't forget to check that in the description below and if you like this video please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you